Here's the Weasel M29 that I've got for sale on eBay. Uh, I want to make a quick video. I had some questions about the tracks and so forth. So I decided to make a, a quick video of it. And I hope this helps. I think the other pictures are probably quite sufficient. the best I can here I just do about five minute video it takes a while quite a while yeah the tracks are old it does move back up the gears work and so forth um, I'm not really a, an expert on these by no means <clears throat> but I wanted to make a quick video of it. The uh, I don't know if the speedometer works. I have no idea. The print oil pressure, the voltmeter goes way over to 30 and starts. That voltage regulator might be hanging up. Fuel gauge, it doesn't have one. Uh, water temperature gauge, I don't think that works either. I'll fire it up here. It does have electric fuel pump on it, which is new. The radiator does have a Kind of a divot to it, but believe it or not, it doesn't leak. Somebody's done some soldering on that in years past. I did check the transmission fluid, both spots on the transmission and the rear differential, and they were plenty of oil in that. I didn't have to add any. So that's a good sign. Got some dirt on that. It's got a pinnel hitch on that. That fuel tank there doesn't leak or anything. I've got it connected. It's running off that one. It's got two places for jerry cans either side. And I'll get on the right side tracks here. I have not greased any of the grease fittings that's on the tracks and the uh, undercarriage and so forth have not greased that at all. Definitely needs it. <clears throat> this is the right side track. And here's the rust. Basically, I think it'd be right where my finger's at at that joint and goes down <clears throat> to. There's like a, a plate there, so it'd be like from right here, across, up to there. So that piece there would have to have some patching done to it. Um, I think just because shit, water just kind of stayed in there, dirt and so forth. The rest of it looks pretty good. Of course there's dents in it, some denting. And there is some other stuff that's... I guess bolted at each axle or whatever you want to call it. Um, there's that right side. There's a picture of the left side. And there was one other spot that had a little bit of rust in it. And it's by a cross member, I think on the driver's side. Um, it's got a small spot of rust in it. Now, these lights are basically guide farm tractor lights, and I do have a replacement one, which I think is the right size for this crack lens that will go with it. It needs to be rewired, the lights do. Now I think, if you look at this, this rub rail or whatever you want to call it has been taken out. I think they might have bumped into something and bent this down low 
because if you look up front here, it kind of stops right here. The shifter is at from the original right there. And then forward has been redone. And the other side has just been skinned over. I don't know if they just took off the tin work and the outside, but you can see where they joined it right there. I don't know the story of that or what happened to that. I have no clue. It's been a long time since that's been done, I, way before I got it. So, but anyhow, I hope this helps some people that did ask about the tracks and so forth. I'll go around one more time. Hopefully, this is enough for you. I don't know what else I can, that's about all I can see. There's nothing else I can really see other than what you're seeing right now. Um, if there's other specific questions or pictures you need, let me know, but I don't know what else I can send to you because there just isn't anything exposed. You know, there is cracks in some of that rubber on the... Uh, where the bogey wheels go or whatever you want to call them but uh, I'll go ahead and start this thing up one more time for you exhaust is back there wiper motor it needs to be rewired probably taken apart and cleaned it probably will work there's only one on the one side so okay hope this helps you guys out thanks a lot